In this video, we will understand what is a sequential logic uh, circuit design. In previous videos, we have seen about the combinational logic circuit designs. So, there is a very fundamental difference uh, between a sequential logic circuit and a uh, combinational logic circuit. So, what is that fundamental uh, difference? So, the fundamental difference is the digital circuit whose output depends on the previous output and the present inputs. That is what we call as a uh, sequential logic circuit. So, let us understand uh, from a basic idea. So, what I mean to say here. So, let us say there is a there is one uh, let us say there is one device is there. Okay, let us say this is a device here and there are let us say two inputs and there are let us say two outputs and let us consider that this is a half order fine. Now, let us say the input is 0 1 according to half order what will be the output one output is sum one output is carry. Okay. So, in this case 0 plus 1 the sum is equals to 1 and the carry will be equals to 0 no carry is generated fine. Now, let us take that I have taken another set of input which is let us say 1 and 1. Okay. Now, the output is 1 plus 1 is 1 sum is 0 and the carry is 1 in this case. Now, if you see this output that we got previously because of this input. So, it has no role when we are giving new set of inputs there is no role of that. Whatever the previous output or the previous input was there, there is no role of that or it is not affecting what will be the next output. For example, if I take 1 0 also, then my output becomes 1 and the carry is 0 in this case. So, here also whatever output we are getting here, it is not dependent on the previous output. right? So, that means whatever the current input is there, so it will give me the current output. Fine, the output is directly related to the current input. In this case, this type of circuit we say this as combinational logic circuit. Now, let us see another scenario. Let us say I have a device which is giving some output. Okay, let us say it is a counter. So, it counts, it, is, it may be a timer, it may be a counter or whatever you can think and in the output, so it will give me the count, let us say 0, 1, 2, 3 like this, fine. And when it will give me some count, when, whenever there is a signal 1, then it will count, fine. Let us say initially the count was 0, signal 1 is given. Now, next time, once again, whenever the signal will be 1, then the count will increase to 1. Now, the new count value or any... Uh, LCD display or 7 segment display is connected, it will tell me the next value is 1. Next, whenever another 1 will be reaching here, then the value will change to 2. Okay. Now, you see here what is happening. So, how, I, how do I know that this is equals to 1? It depends on what was the previous output. If the previous output is equals to 0, then the next output will be 1, that is what I know. Fine. Similarly, it can go from 1 to 2. So, whatever the current input I want to get based on the current input, whatever the current output I want, so again that depends on the previous input. So, this type of scenario is called as a sequential logic circuit because it follows a proper sequence of outputs. It cannot be a random one. Once the input is there, it will give you a sequence output that is predefined. There, is, there can be another example. It can go from 0, then it will count 2, then it will count 4, then it will count 6, like that it can go on. We can design a circuit that also. So, we will see in further how can we design this uh, sequential logic circuit. But this is the whole idea what is a combinational logic circuit and this is what we say as a sequential logic circuit. Okay. So, by the definition it says that the output depends on the previous output and the present input. Fine. So, here you can see the image says that there is a input is given and the input is given to a combinational logic circuit. Basically, in a digital electronics, whatever output you need, then it is a combination of logic gates. So, combinational logic circuit is given and some output is there, fine. Now, what will happen? Next state, what will be the next output? So, to know that I need the previous, I need the previous output. So, there will be a device or there will be a circuit here which will store the previous output what was there and it will be used in the present circuit fine. So, the previous thing along with the current input will give me the current output. Okay. 
this is how the sequential logic circuit will work so it says that the memory elements or devices are capable of storing binary information so that is an important factor here so what this memory element is doing it is storing for me binary elements then the binary information stored in these elements and given times uh, defines the state of the sequential logic circuit so it defines that what is the current state for example here if the current display is let's say 1 then we say the current state of the device is equals to 1 so that is what the meaning of state so if we see in the block diagram it demonstrates what it says the block diagram the outputs of the sequential circuit are not only the function of inputs but also function of the present state what is the current output here that dip, that will decide what will be the next output fine so thus a sequential logic circuit can be specified as a time sequence of inputs outputs and internal state so it's a combination of that so everything is related here if you give a input first it will stay first it will try to look that what was the previous case okay based on that all those things will be designed so in the next videos we will be clarifying that how a memory element can be designed what is a latch what is a flip flop so all those things we will see in the uh, subsequent videos now in a uh, sequential circuit design one important factor is that that is what called as a clock here okay basically there are two types of sequential logic circuit one is called as synchronous sequential logic circuit another is called asynchronous logic circuit as the name is suggesting synchronous that means let us say there are 5 devices are connected or 5 memory elements are there. Synchronous means the changes or any output in the 5 elements, the 5 devices will happen at the same time. That means synchronously it will happen. That is what the meaning of synchronous. So, what it says? So, it employs the signal that affect the memory ele elements at discrete instants of time. Synchronization is achieved by timing device clock, a clock generator which provides a clock signal having uh, of the periodic train clock means you can see this is a uh, clock pulse we say and this is commonly used as CLOK, uh, CLOCK clock or CLK the short form is also CLK. So here the clock pulse is given so it will decide that these are this memory elements instead of that it is now written flip flop so these are the memory elements so the clocks will decide that what is the working condition of the flip-flop is it working now or it is in the off state now so this clock pulse can decide that and every clock pulse the output will change because if the input if you fix at one so based on the flip-flop the output will continuously change and the next output will be the present uh, out uh, present output for the uh, next to that like this the sequence will go on and in sequential logic synchronous logic circuit all the changes in all the flip-flops or all the memory devices will happen, happen at a single time. So, what I am trying to say here is, let us say there are 4 memory elements are, or 3 memory elements are there, okay. This may be this flip flops or you can consider memory elements. So, the sequential logic circuit says that the changes in all the things will happen at a time. That means, the clock signal will be given to all at a single time, okay. So, once a clock is given, the states will change or the content will change depending on what is the current input. So, that is a sequence synchronous, okay. So, uh, that is what a synchronous is there. Then uh, we say that a flip-flop is a binary storage device that we are going to learn further. That is capable of storing one bit of information. In stable state, the output of the flip-flop is either 0 or 1. Fine, that means the output is 0 means the flip-flop is storing the value of 0. Unless and until there is a clock is given to the flip-flop, this output will never change whatever the input is there. That does not matter. Fine. So, this is how the memory storage is going to happen. We will see that later. In asynchronous, what will happen? The circuit depends on the input signal at any instant of time in the order in which the input sends. Fine. That means, let us say again there are three things are there. So, a clock is given here, this output is given here and this output is given here. So, these are called as asynchronous because all the changes will not happen at a time. So, input is given here, the output will be obtained here, this output will propagate to the next stage, then the output will come here, this output will go to the next stage, then the output will come here. So, it is a asynchronous device, that means the change is dependent on a input of the previous device, but in synchronous, the change is dependent on the clock only. 
so here the clock is given to the first device only but all the changes in the further devices are because of the clock given to the first device but in case of synchronous so every uh, device will change its value at a single point of time so the memory elements commonly used in asynchronous sequential circuits are time delayed devices that means uh, uh, you may think that this is let's say a logic gate uh, let's say this is a and gate and this is a let's say or gate so this uh, time delay devices uh, device means so if there is a and gate like this so we say that if 0 1 is given output is 0 but we don't consider that is it instant so practically it's not instant so there is a very fraction of time is taken so to get from input to output it's not instant so that is where the time delay devices are uh, very much higher value of time delay devices are used in case of your um, flip flops okay so that's it from uh, what is a sequential logic circuit what is a synchronous logic circuit what is a asynchronous logic circuit in the next further classes we'll see that how a basic memory element we can create and it will go until how we can create a counter if that can count from 1 to 10 or any random number we can say so thank you we will see in the next video